It's 7pm and we're live in central London, which is currently gripped with mass protests over the US President's visit. A warm welcome to RT UK. More than 100,000 protesters marched through central London against Donald Trump on his first visit to the UK as president. The police investigating the poisoning of a couple in Amesbury with Novichok say they found the bottle thought to contain the nerve agent. Thank you for watching the news here at RT International, broadcasting live from Moscow. I'm Kate Partridge. Twitter shares plunged on Friday after the tech giant admitted some bad news. Kate Partridge breaks down the chaos Britain's government is currently facing. The government said that those 21 rebels, they will be expelled. Some of them grandees of the party, including two former chancellors. And also, prior to that vote as well, there was another historic moment as Dr Philip Lee defected from the Conservative Party to the Liberal Democrats, immediately cutting Boris Johnson's working majority. So what a day it was for the Prime Minister. Well, to discuss this further, I'm now joined by Professor of International Economic Law at City University, David Collins. David, thank you very much Thanks indeed for, for joining me. Brexit then. Well, Trump appears to say Brexit wrecks a trade deal, and then he says it's fake news. What do we believe? Well, I, I'm more interested in whether or not we can actually form a comprehensive free trade agreement with the US based on what's been outlined in this white paper. Another breaking news story this evening. Police investigating the Novichok poisoning of a couple in Amesbury say they found the suspected source of the nerve agent. Amazon's facial recognition tool made 28 matches all of them false. Eleven of the mismatches involved people of colour, prompting additional concern. The union claims the tool has an inbuilt racial bias, with 40% of the mistakes involving non-white people. That's despite the fact Congress, which formed the test group, is overwhelmingly white. Time for a short break now, but there are plenty more news stories coming up in part two. Welcome back to Manchester, and I'm joined by Manchester United manager Jose Mourinho. Jose, you've seen how the teams have lined up here, France and Belgium. What are your thoughts? How do you think the first 45 minutes is going to go? Uh, first of all, I think FIFA is wrong in the diagrams, in the graphics they, they, they put. I, I wouldn't believe, and now when I watch the first couple of minutes, uh, I know that, that that is wrong. There, well, let's cross live now to RT Studio in the heart of Moscow, where I believe, and in fact I can see, that Kate Partridge <laughs> has got one very famous face from the footballing world for company. Hi there, Union. Yes, here we are. I'm, I am joined, I'm delighted to be joined by AC Milan and Brazil star Kaká. Thank you very much indeed for joining me today. So, it's been an incredible tournament so far. That's just my opinion. What's your opinion of the tournament here in Russia? It's the same. Thank you very much for having me here today. And it's, my opinion is the same as yours. Uh, I think it's a very good tournament, very competitive. And we are hours to see a great final between France and Croatia. Let's cross over to Kate Partridge. She's at the FanFest Park near the Luzhniki Stadium here in Moscow. Oh, I imagine there was a huge celebration from the Columbia fans there in 93 minutes. Hi there, Neil. Hi there, Peter. Wow, you have not seen anything like this fan zone when Yerimina's header went in. That was absolutely incredible. I don't think I have ever been in a ground, a fan zone, or frankly anywhere where people are watching football where it was so partisan. It was basically about 30 or 40 thousand people were cheering on Colombia it just went completely ballistic it's amazing and it started a kind of basically a giant party here so you can say this is your 11th World Cup but now you're taking more of a as I say a back step so since 2015 what kind of thing have you been have you been doing have you been able to you have more time to yourself what kind of thing you has set that have been doing in his time off well listen uh, first I had a bad time when uh, when there was an attack on uh, on, on FIFA uh, in, uh, on the 27th of 2015, 27th of May. Uh, afterwards, I was suspended. I'm still a suspended president. I'm still president, but suspended. That's all the news for this evening and this week. We'll be back at 7 p.m. on Monday. But from all of us here in Westminster, have a very good night and a great weekend.